Hey guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's health. And in this issue, which is brought to us from the Journal of American Medical Association called JAMA, is a study about high blood pressure and the actual shocking outcomes of high blood pressure. If you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos in my series, just give me a call at 609-410-4790. So, I've worked with people who've had systolic blood pressure of 180. Now, systolic is the, the top number, 180 over 60 or 70 or 80 or 90. It's the top number. And these people were very happy to get their numbers down to 140 over some other number. So their systolic went from 180 to 140, and they were thrilled. And so was I. But apparently, as you age, even slightly elevated blood pressure is dangerous. So here's the deal from the study. And what they did is they looked at ambulatory adults age 75 years or older. So it means people that weren't bedridden or in wheelchairs. And what they did is they divided their sample into two groups. One group they worked at with medication to get them down to a systolic of 120 or below. And the other group, they worked with medication, but not as aggressively, to get their numbers down below 140. And what they found was that the 120 group over this study period had significantly lower rates of fatal and non-fatal major cardiovascular events. That's a big way of saying heart attack. So the 120 group had significantly lower rates of fatal and non-fatal heart attacks and death from any causes. So the study is telling us that though blood pressure doesn't really have any symptoms and we're always worried about if it's 180 or 190, but even mildly elevated is bad. And my feeling is, is that the reason that they're seeing that 120 to 140 difference is that these 75 years old people probably had high blood pressure for 10, 20, 30 years, and it's just taking its real toll now. So you need to do everything you can to bring your blood pressure down. A major way to bring your blood pressure down is something called nitric oxide therapy. And the delivery system that I like for nitric oxide therapy is something called ProArginine Plus. If you'd like to see a video on nitric oxide therapy and how it helps high blood pressure and other cardiovascular issues, also complications from diabetes and even erectile dysfunction, then just click on that blue arrow or follow the link below this video. I want to thank you for watching the video and stopping by. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.